Good morning. It's 9.45 a.m. It's spring. Let's see. I'm here with Radio Rob, and this is Everybody Loves Spring. And say morning. So spring. <laughs> Actually, no. Listeners, listeners, listeners. I'm kind of scared. Spring professes herself as the queen of pop culture, right? Oh, God. So I got a little quizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little quizzy for that's, the gal. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's my Breslin voice, by the way. Got a little quizzy. Oh, <laughs> Uh, All right, you ready for this? <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're going to start it off in my pop culture quiz. Uh-huh. So, you know, let's, let's get this music going. Oh, oh, oh. Are we, are we hearing stuff? I'm, I'm hearing it's, stuff in the background from my laptop. Is my, my laptop board up messing stop. up? Hey, excuse me. Give me a break, Kay. <laughs> All right, so are you, are you ready for your questions? Yes, I'm ready for my questions. All right, question number one. HBO is in talks with Blank to create a new standalone streaming service. Is it Pandora? Radio, MTV, or Apple? A new standalone? Yes. Streaming service? Yes. Mm-hmm. I want to say Apple. You are correct. Ah! Dan, starting off right. The queen, all right. <laughs> Actor Blank got photoshopped into cheesy stock photos to promote his new comedy, Unfinished Business. Is it Jared Leto, Vince Vaughn, James Franco or Kevin Hart? Vince Vaughn. You would be correct. Yeah, because Vince Vaughn's doing it with uh, James Franco's brother, Dave Franco. See, I saw a trailer for it. I would have, like, bombed this. <laughs> I, those, those first two questions, I didn't know them at all. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I have to concentrate, though, because I'm, like, a little behind in my pop culture right now. Oh, well, then, perfect. All right. Oh, I know this one. All right. Ringling, Blo- Ringling Bros and Barlam and Bailey Circus announced it will soon phase out performances by what animal? Is it babies, <laughs> lions, bears, or elephants? I meant they said babies. Mm. Wait, give me your selection again. <clears throat> babies, lions, bears, or elephants? Oh, I feel like it's elephants. You would be correct. Really? I, yeah. It's because they're endangered. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm like, lions, I mean, like, elephants are a pretty good... Like, I mean, if I were to pick anything to get rid of, it would be an elephant. Why would right. I want to carry with that all the time? <laughs> like, <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I mean, logic, right. But they're also really old, they're elephants. True. Yeah. Aww. Which actor chopped off his hair and dyed it platinum blonde in preparation for his new role in a superhero movie? Jared Leto. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to give you the options. You're right. <laughs> I actually knew that, too. That's funny. Jared Leto. <laughs> I forgot who he's playing, though. I don't know either. Wait, what do you think about him with his chopped hair? I haven't seen it. I just know he chopped it. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how far advanced I am. <laughs> I was going to say Kim Kardashian, but I forgot she doesn't have a talent, you know? <laughs> You're right, Dan. I mean, no, we just learned about her talent like uh, two minutes ago. Oh, yeah. We read about it. <laughs> I hope you're watching on Ustream. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, next question. Which actor is battered but okay after crash landing on a Southern California golf course on Thursday? Harrison mm-hmm. Ford, Tom Hanks. Harrison Ford. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even get, like, my breath out. Because <laughs> I, I saw the thing, and I, I saw two reports. It was one that he crashed and another one that he's still alive. And I was like, yes! Yes. Indiana Jones lives another day. I mean, I could have that could have been a very somber question. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, my God. Which uh, actor? All right. Which actor passed away this past Tuesday? <laughs> Damn, I just laughed. All right. <laughs> 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 Which British royal with, will visit the set of Downton Abbey on March 12th? Is it Prince William, Prince Charles, Prince Harry, or Kate Middleton? Oh, my God. You may have got me here. Mm, um, I stumped the queen. I'm going to say Prince Harry. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> British royal and you're the queen of pop culture? I feel like it's Prince Harry or Kate Middleton. Well, you can only pick one here, Missy. Uh, but Kate Middleton doesn't really go places without her husband. But I feel like I'm going to say wrong if I say Prince Harry. She doesn't go places with her husband? For the most part. She I is pretty clingy. Like, I see them like... She's so clingy. Why I don't even know so if it's clingy? a clingy thing. I just thought she's not allowed to. Nah, she's so <laughs> clingy. Get out of here. You don't see Queen Elizabeth being clingy. Queen Elizabeth is that gal. She could do whatever she wants. I, You know, I want to be the QE <clears throat> of this station. Can I be the QE of this station? You can be. Oh, my Q. God. And then now no, wait. Chelsea. You can be because you're no longer... Excuse me. Beer. At least let me finish my statement. Oh, okay. my, my, fault, my, fault. God. my fault. Okay, it's already okay. kicking me off. I'm still on air. <laughs> uh, well, it hasn't been announced yet, but... Who uh, I'm gonna say my uh, I guess my heir is that I was that the word I use my uh, yeah the people taking well your 
My successor. Your successor. There yes. we go. Yeah, because your heir would be she like. She's now going to be the QE2. I'm QE1. That's what I want to be. You, you got it, Joe? Because I know you're going to be here next semester. She will now be QE2, our suc my successor. All right, he got it. I want her crown everywhere. I still want my picture here, but her picture could be right next to mine. How come I don't have a crown? I'm, I'm not a crown. How come I don't have a picture anywhere in this Because Demer just doesn't studio? like you, obviously. I don't think he does. How many pictures of me are in here? We a lot. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Too many. <laughs> too many. Spring, I, I see you everywhere I go. Like <laughs> This is, I you see ever, you on Snapchat. Oh I see you. Have you ever seen The Ringer? Um, sadly, no. Oh my God, there's a song. <clears throat> I mean, there's a they're going out to a dance. If you ever never seen the movie, it's like a comedy. It's a messed Wait, up comedy. But the one with Kevin Hart. The one with John Johnny Knoxville came out years ago. Oh, okay, it's okay, one okay, of the okay. messed up most messed up comedies I've ever seen. But it's actually kind of funny, not to be me, because especially it's like with people with uh disabilities. But they were like they were kind of like being troopers about it but there's a part where they're all doing a, like a dance thing and there's like I, did, I, I did. see pretty girls everywhere I go <laughs> everywhere I go so now I just picture Roberto just being like, I see spring <laughs> things everywhere I go no really that's <laughs> that's really how I feel I'm like, stalking your life oh Roberto my, oh before my. you know it you're like closed in and I'm in your dreams you kind of already are oh <laughs> that was kind of creepy though that soft voice Oh, the way I said. Oh, no, no, me. I was like, you kind of already are. <laughs> All right, let's get, on with the quiz. Get on with <laughs> let's the get this quiz ready. <clears throat> so, who's your choice, Prince Harry? Or oh, or Prince Kate? Harry. All right. Wrong. It was Kate. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I felt She's it not that heart. clingy. <laughs> At least I got one wrong. All right. Director Oliver Stone released the first image of Joseph Gordon-Levitt as blank. Luis Miramontes, <laughs> Edward Snowden, Upton Sinclair, or John Brown. I feel like it's the first one. Luis Miramontes. You just wanted me to say that again. Yeah. I think you say it really nicely, but I think it's the first one. All right. Are they doing a Snowden movie? It is Edward Snowden. I was... Ah! Yeah. Uh, I should have known. You should have known. I had known. a dream with that guy the other day. Is that weird? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he's, also, he's also like infiltrating dreams now? I have no idea why. <laughs> Like, this guy's everywhere the now. <laughs> then Spring's dream. I don't know. I, I had a weird dream with him. I don't even know what he was doing there. He was just kind of there. Oh, okay. It's, uh, he's just, he wasn't doing anything. He's just like chilling. My friend just telling me a weird text. I don't know. We were discussing something. Maybe I was like plotting against the government. I'm not even sure mm. at this point. We're going to delete this segment. I, I, don't know, I don't know if I want to be a part of this. Can you imagine? <laughs> Everything just gets like mysteriously shut down. <laughs> Lights Take going away. off. V for Vendetta type stuff. Hmm. All right, let's get to this next question. I don't know if I want to be a part of this conversation. Blank will head <laughs> to the Broadway stage in Stephen King's Misery. Is it Matthew McConaughey, Michael Sarah, Bruce Willis, or James v Vanderbeek? And Stephen King's Misery? Yes. Is that his the title of the thing? Oh, there's yeah. he, Bobby. Yes. Uh, uh, it's not Michael Sarah. It can't be Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah's irrelevant. <laughs> that would be then. so awkward. Oh, that means it's not. Ha ha. All right. So. I, well, I don't know the I don't know the answers actually. You don't know the answers, so you. I ain't got it? the answers. No, I had. They're giving me the answers. You know what? I'm gonna go with James Vanderbeek. You would be wrong. What? Who is it? Don't say Michael Sarah. It's Bruce Willis. Oh, thank God. As long as it's not Michael Sarah. <laughs> Michael Sarah's so irrelevant. Brucey boy. All right. Bruce. Hey. Bruce. Jimmy Fallon and Blank teamed up to sing a history of duets for late night TV. Is it Gwyneth Paltrow, Cameron Diaz, Carrie Underwood, or Kelly Clarkson? Kelly Clarkson? You would be correct. I'm like, because she just dropped a new album, She's and Jimmy Fallon's a pop culture dude. He can't use somebody who's irrelevant right now, who's K Carrie mm -hmm. Underwood. That's how I process things. Maybe I like I your logic. In, you, maybe I should be in PR. You, know, you, you really have good logic. Yeah. <laughs> you saw how I was thinking. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. And the camera Diaz hasn't come out with a new movie. Who's the first option again? I, I already passed the question. Damn. <laughs> so I don't know. All right. Well, continue. All right. There will soon be a version of Saturday Night Live in what country? The Philippines, Japan, Taiwan, and China, or China. Mm. I want to say Japan. You'd be wrong. I was so... Who would it be? Don't say China. That's nuts. It's China. Yeah, it went... And I saw this quiz, and I was like, what? It was China, because I, I took it, too. What? Yeah. I feel like they hate us so much. Why would they do it? But I then again... Like, China? What? Imagine a Chinese um, Andy Samberg. <laughs> or like a Chinese... <laughs> oh, my God. That would be great. <laughs> That would actually be really perfect. I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> 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 I 
I'm thinking about it now. I can't even say the joke on air. I, I have a feeling I know exactly what you're referring to, why you're laughing so hard, because I'm thinking about it too. All right. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just going to say this. If you've ever seen... um. Oh, God, I'm going to sound like the only dork right now. If you've ever seen uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's uh, with Audrey Hepburn, it's a, it's an old movie. It's, from, it's actually not even that old. It's from the 60s. The uh, Mickey Rooney, bless his heart, he passed away, I mm-hmm. think, a year ago. Uh, he is a really messed up role, but he's he plays the Asian guy, and that's exactly how I imagined Andy Samberg. <laughs> and, like, the way he speaks in the movie, I'm not going to do it because it's actually very rude and it's very uh, racist. Yeah. But that's how I pictured it. That's why I was laughing so hard because that part of the movie always makes me laugh. But not that's beyond the point. Like, it's such a bad thing. Oh, I'm, I'm laughing at because I was picturing an Asian version of his and Justin Timberlake's, you know, very big hit that we can oh in a box <laughs> oh my god oh my god better because i oh god because you know what they say about yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> so right. this is gonna take me off air very soon oh this friday god. show is gonna give me so much trouble i know we're we're, oh we're taking a little time. all right What's the, the title question? of kanye west's new album is pass the torch the church of yeezus so help me god or i am so a help me god. all right exactly. wait what's the last one <laughs> I am a blowfish. Oh, I kind of wish it was that one. I am a blowfish. <laughs> I still can't get over his uh, album cover. I know it's pretty crazy. It's because the, the Virgin Mary. It's like a, a of a diamond, and it's you know it has the M's surrounding it. See, I didn't know it was that. My friend had described it as um the the thorns of Jesus. No, that's not. Oh, so then never mind. Your I mean, it still it still has a religious undertone. Yeah. But, mm, Kanye, what are you getting at? I don't know. It better not sound like uh, only one the whole time. No, I don't think it is. Have oh. you heard Wolves? Ugh. No. You haven't heard Wolves? Mm. Oh, yes, I did. I've heard Wolves. I'm thinking of the other one. Um, all Day? Yeah. What? I know. Uh, no, I we, know. we have to play All Day. All Day. Day. <laughs> all Day, All Drake. <laughs> <laughs> we have um, to play All Day during the break. It's really funny. But, uh, wait, do you have another question? Uh, yeah. Okay, finish your questions. Actually, right. no, let me finish my story. <laughs> really quick. On my iPod, when I downloaded Drake's, uh, if you're reading this, it's too late. The the artist is Drake is trash, Kanye is better, and I have yet to change the al- the artist's name. Because I'm like, I'm not going to argue with it. I mean, I didn't do this. <laughs> it's the truth. No, I'm kidding. Oh, my God, he's staring at me. <laughs> Stop staring at me right now. <laughs> Let's get to this question. All right. <clears throat> Let's finish this. <laughs> this is an image of Eddie Redmayne in his new movie, Blank. Oh, he's a transgendered woman. Yes, the Danish girl, the German girl, the French girl, or the bad girl. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's a Danish girl. You would be correct. Yeah, because I saw it and I was like, wow, he makes a pretty woman. He actually... Pretty woman. Well, I'm not going to comment on that. Walking <laughs> down the street. The um, <laughs> blank is currently the only original Independence Day cast member who is signed on for Independence Day 2. Pa- um, Bill Pullman, Will Smith, Jeff Goldblum, or Vivica A. Fox. Mm. Will Smith. Eh. Really? Is it Vivica Fox? No, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. Why? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't even I know who that is. I love Jeff Goldblum. Why? Oh, Goldblum. Look at that. I have no clue who that is. Why? How did you pronounce it? Goldblum. No, I think it's Goldblum. I think so. I had such a crush on him in The Fly. Uh huh. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know who it is, so that's why I said. You never seen? Uh, you've seen um, Jurassic Park? Yeah. He's the the one that he's like that funny sarcastic guy okay the good looking one that's him all right love him oh, oh. which all right let's continue Please which downton me. abbey alum was cast there's a lot of downton abbey i don't questions. watch downton <laughs> abbey <laughs> <laughs> was was cast as the beast in the up, upcoming live action film beauty oh, and the I beast okay um you got the question though mm-hmm. all right ed spellers charles edwards dan stevens or matt milne I'm just gonna go with the last one. Right, so all, these, all these, all these, all these irrelevant. Know. I don't people. watch that one, Abby. I heard it's a really good show, though. You got one minute, so you, you got to do a speed all run. All right, Dan Stevens. All right, last question. This week, a fire broke out near Disneyland's blank attraction. Is it Pirates of the Caribbean, Splash Mountain, It's a Small World, or Space Mountain? Oh, as much as I wish it was, a, it was, it's a small world. I think <laughs> yeah. it was Pirates. You don't of the like Caribbean. it's a small world? Oh God, I hate that. Ride. <laughs> I hate that ride so. Much. It's a small shot. <laughs> and what? I always search for like a person without a leg or what without was your an arm. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. All right. And you were wrong. It's a small world. No! <laughs> yes! Yes! I hate that ride. That ride is stupid. All right. Well, so with that. you got, wait, wait, you got 53%. Oh. So that's not bad. You know, that's not bad considering consider- I have not been right. keeping up. Exactly. I think that's kind of good. Good for that ride. I hate that stupid ride. 
It's such a horrible ride. I don't know why anyone would bring it. It's, it's slow scary. It's around. scary. All right. Well, with that being said, it's 10 on the nose. Obviously, I know my pop culture because I know everything. I'm spring like the season, and this was Radio Rob. Yes, yes. This is Everybody Loves Spring in the Morning. You can listen again at at on Tuesday at 10 a.m. or Thursday at 9. Or you can listen to us because you love us more Fridays at 9 Pretty a.m. Much. I mean, right i don't know if you want to plug your show mr radio rob yes you can listen to the midday mess mondays at one o'clock right here on wicr have a good weekend guys